Hi guys, I just thought I'd give you a little explicit content warning. Although I have beeped out all of the swear words, there's still some things that are probably not suitable for children unless they're under adult supervision. Enjoy the video. Peace. You O'Brien, you are a c This one's this one here is probably takes the vegan cake. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. I thought I'd make this video to respond to some of the comments I'll be getting. And I just thought it was really interesting. I thought it was worth making a video. Now, this video isn't for some for people to go, oh my god, Joe, I feel so sorry for you getting all this hatred. Not at all. I just thought we could analyze like the psychology of people and like why they're so violently opposed to what I'm saying. And I'm I'm actually quite used to this. I get this a lot. Uh, but just very recently I've been getting a lot of these types of comments because of my video towards the dairy farmer who was crying that they had to leave their family business, the family business which is built on the exploitation murder of these individual animals who are enslaved for dairy products. So, let's just have a little uh, read of some of these threats I've been getting. So in the morning I woke up to, I don't know who this guy is, angersveal at hotmail.com. Name, Anders Vrogen? I don't know. Subject, Casey Troller. <laughs> so I guess that's that Casey was the the dairy farmer. If you do not apologize to Casey in the next 24 hours, we are coming after you. Make no mistake. Okay, so that's coming after me. I mean, doesn't look like he wants to buy me a vegan burger. Looks like these could coming after me. So, yeah, I mean, what exactly did I say in the video that warrants you coming after me? I showed sympathy to her, I wasn't heartless, just making some solid points about the fact that animals are killed in that industry. It's completely unnecessary and it's destroying the environment, okay? And we got our CGM Hunter. Oh, he's a hunter? He's got a gun or something, it looks like in his picture there. Hey, f it. I'm going to feed you my meat fist and smash your weak teeth down your throat if I see you anywhere. You're a pathetic, weak c and I hope violence finds you soon. Well, you know, I'm no stranger to violence. <laughs> I come from a violent past. I mean, if you see, there's a big scar on my head there. I've got scars all over my head. I've been beaten up a few times in my life. But you're wishing violence on me? Actually, you're not, as, you're not going as far as wishing violence on me. You're actually saying you're going to smash my weak teeth down my throat throat if I see you anywhere. Now, this is on a public page as well, so he's not very smart, really. But it's uh, interesting, like, that my video talking about, you know, the dairy industry and how they need to move jobs has triggered this guy to the point that he wants to smash my teeth down my throat. Interesting. And, you know, I get accused of being a militant, extreme vegan. Uh, vegans are... Uh, accused of being violent. What is this? What is this? Now, uh, let's let's go over here. Uh, this is interesting too because Achilleo Tautu um, sent me this. You're an absolute tosser. Do something better rather than intimidating people to go vegan. <laughs> Doesn't sound like I'm doing the intimidating. What video were you watching? What video were you watching where I'm intimidating people? I'm don't know what you're talking about. I mean, having logical, compassionate discussions. There are vegans that just keep to themselves and respect others' opinions. Oh, you'd love that if I just kept to myself and didn't, you know, raise these moral issues about animals so you can just continue to eat your burgers comfortably, continue to pay for the harm and murder of animals comfortably. Not on my watch, not on my watch. And then there are vegans like you who don't care about people's financial points. You're a scumbag, and anyone who feeds into your bullshit are idiots. Do you hold financial points higher than morality? I don't. I don't hold uh, money higher than the lives of innocent animals. And there's other businesses you can get involved with, and farmers can get involved with, so that doesn't involve a victim. So let's go, Blues Brothers. Oh, Joey Carbstrong. Well, I hope you're happy. You've just done a huge amount of damage for animal activists. Thanks to this video, made the rest of us sound like complete assholes that don't understand these farmers' current situations, which is not the case. Get your head out your ass, Joey. What video were you watching, Blues Brothers? Look at- who are you? Who are you, dude? Like, no offence, mate, but done a huge amount of 
damage for animal activists? Do you know how many animal activists I've trained and inspired to be active? Thousands, thousands doing damage. Did you even watch my video or did you just listen to some radio guy, you know, talk about these articles and give me shit? Like, dude, if anything, if anything, you know, most of the activist community are happy with my work. You know, most of the vegan community are happy with my work. And you know what, you know what actually matters more than animal activists and more than the vegan community? The animals, and I speak from my heart for them, not for you, Blues Brothers. And I'd like to see your work. Show me your work that you're doing for the animals and for animal activists. Um, anyway, my email's open, Blues Brothers. Send me some of your work and I'd like to see that. Uh, here we go, like this was my Facebook page. I got absolutely slammed. It was, you know, quite amusing to me, but like actually quite disturbing. Stuart Johnston, and you know, like they're commenting on a public page, so I'm not deleting any names or anything from this. This is just, it's a public page. Everyone can go there and see it. It's on my Facebook page. Stuart Johnston, give it a spell, you d Can't wait to hook into a dirty big steak tonight and a massive glass of milk. Matt, Adam, get a load of this flog. Like, wow, you're gonna eat a steak and drink some milk? Whoa, that, I haven't heard that one before, eh? So they're gonna contribute to more animal abuse, more animal cruelty, because I spoke up for animals. How, where's the logic there? And, you know, be careful of eating too much of that red meat and drinking too much of that dairy. Prostate cancer and bowel cancer are a thing. Uh, Jacob goes, poofy poxy f it. Go f yourself. You should be happy if we didn't eat any animals. You wouldn't have any food left to eat. So be happy, you poxy vegan f I really don't know where to start with that one. Um, I don't even know. I, I can't even address that. There's just too many. It just fried my brain. Anyways, Joey, f*** off. I can enjoy meat and dairy as much as you want to enjoy grass and leaves. <laughs> don't eat grass and leaves, bro. Check out this burger. People just want to enjoy the flesh of animals without me talking about the fact that someone was murdered and slashed across the throat for that burger. Paul Gabriel, I'm going to have veal tonight. You have motivated me to do that. Nom, nom, nom. Thanks, mate. So he's going to eat a baby cow. Me speaking up against the abuse that happens in the dairy industry has motivated him to go and commit more abuse to uh, baby veal calves, um, which is disturbing, you know, using me as a reason to abuse animals. You know, innocent animals that have done nothing wrong. Let that sink in for a while. Um, and we are called violent and extreme terrorist uh, vegans are. Uh, here we go. Here's some more. Um, this is what a violent extreme terrorist has to put up with in this comment section. You dirty little lying fascist. What is a fascist? I mean, let me just get the What's the definition of fascist? As a noun, it means an advocate or follower of the political philosophy or system of fascism. What is fascism? All right, here's what I got. Fascism is a form of radical authoritarian ultranationalism characterized by dictatorial power, forcible suppression of opposition, and strong regimentation of society and the economy. Pfft, sounds like animal agriculture! <laughs> wow! I'm a fascist? What am I doing? I'm like, hey, don't stab animals, please. Please, the environment is going to absolute <laughs> Stop stabbing animals. Fascist! You're a fascist! It's crazy. Here we go. You dirty little lying fascist. When I get my hands on you, you malnourished f You're dead. Dead, full stop. Don't forget to pop your vitamin pills, you deranged <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but, like, where the f*** did that come from? <laughs> Oh god, I'm gonna have to bleep out a lot of f**ks in this one. This is, and a lot of c**ks, because this is getting, this is crazy. I don't know what he means by malnourished. I mean, I don't, I've got, I'm perfectly healthy. Um, here we go, crispy99999, that's a lot of nines. Hey maggot, if you ever need any help jumping off a cliff, let me know. I'd be delighted to push you off. Farming, agriculture, and livestock are what originally built Ost to help make it what it is today. Callous prick. Take your modern, he's actually censored, prick. Well, that's nice of you. Callous prick, take your modern vegan crap and shove it up your ass. You know what else built Australia to make it what it is today? A holocaust of Aboriginal people. That doesn't mean we should continue that, you know? Racism and 
you know, invasion and murder. Many things built civilization that were immoral and we should not continue them, including animal agriculture, which is just the enslavement and murder of animals. Rick says you're a and need to neck yourself. Oh, so he wants me to commit suicide. Uh, Troy says you low life piece of white trash, bury yourself in shame. A noose looks forward to meeting you. Um, either he wants me to hang myself or he's going to hang me. Uh, very, sounds very extreme and militant of you guys. Um, you know, not sure where this is all coming from. Uh, people calling me a low life piece of shit. Um, let's keep going. Uh, you're a fucking idiot picking at other people's losses. How about you just fuck off, lame ass wanker? Picking at other people's losses? I actually said I have sympathy for her plight. Probably a better word would mean empathy for her plight because I, it probably feels pretty terrible to lose your job. But also, it probably feels terrible to be on a kill floor waiting for your throat to be slashed. Um, which is what happens to all dairy cows, they all get killed. It's such an insult what you have said. These people have lost everything and you're an insult to the human race. I'm trying to save the human race and trying to stop the abuse of animals. Why do you feel so much pride towards the dairy industry? It's in it's interesting, like, people have so much pride and are so offended. I'd love to bump into you one day, piece of <laughs> Kevin, he's playing a flute. What are you going to do, play me a flute song with your flute? I hate vegans. Um, yeah, I'm not really too afraid of you, Kevin, but that's fine. You can, you know, entertain yourself with the fact that you think I'm afraid of that. Hugh O'Brien, you are a c This one's This one here is probably takes the vegan cake. Hugh O'Brien, you are a c I hope you get cancer and die a, s a painfully slow death. So he wants me to get cancer and die a painfully slow death. I don't think you should wish that on people. Cancer's a horrible, horrible disease and you know, wishing it on other people, it could happen to you, especially if you're eating the body parts of animals. You know, they contribute to certain types of cancer. So I'd be careful about that and start reading into the science. Hugh O'Brien then goes on to report my video, get this, for hate speech. <laughs> Watch my video, I can't believe you could report me for hate speech for raising really serious points in a very respectful manner after you told me to get cancer and die a slow painful death. That there just goes to show how deluded people are. You just reported me for hate speech? Wow. Do you even, like, I don't even know if these people watch the videos, like this is the thing about media, they understand that people don't read articles, they just read the headlines, they take other people's word for it, they don't look into things themselves and see what I actually said. So easy to, you know, mislead people these days. Stanley Young, I know you're an animal lover, looks like you're a goat rider. Well, the only bestiality that's happening is the bestiality that happens in the dairy industry and animal agriculture where they're fiddling around with the private parts of animals, you know, harvesting semen and injecting it into the, the female animals at one year old or really young. It's complete bestiality type practices and they hide it behind the guise of being some medical pr procedure like, you know, it's just artificial insemination. Artificial insemination. No. Sambo Hambo says, vegans are the biggest waste of oxygen on the planet. Well, you know what? Sambo Hambo, you won't have a planet to live on if you keep drinking dairy and, you know, supporting animal agriculture because it's destroying the earth, literally. Here we go, Sapman71. You and your vegan mates are f***ing idiots. Signed, the world. Well, like I said, the world is sinking. The ship is sinking. We won't have a world. We're trying to warn you all that the environment is going to sh Listen to us. Send your death threats, send all that, that's not gonna stop us. I just thought it was interesting that I'm being called extreme and militant, but when you look at the responses from people, not much logic there, just completely emotionally driven people who are reacting and triggered, haven't even listened properly to what I said, sending hate. Again, this is pretty stock standard, pretty used to this by now. Just quite interesting to analyze the psychology of people, what do you think's going on in their heads? Why are they so proud and defensive of the dairy industry? And you know, is it just because they seen a crying lady and oh my God, like it's really sad. You know, I actually sympathize with her cause she was crying, but these same people, if they saw anyone abusing a dog, they wouldn't care if they were crying. They'd be like, oh my God, you abused a dog and now you're crying playing victim. I love my dog. You're a fascist. <laughs> Tell me what you think in the comment section. Um, are these death threats warranted? Um, I don't agree with death threats on either side of the fence, actually. I think that that just doesn't make the world better. 
What do you guys think? Um, thanks for your support. If you haven't seen the videos, actually watch them and you know listen to what I've said before you jump to conclusions and start dropping threats at me. Anyways, peace to you all. Let's work towards a better world. Liberate animals from their suffering, from slaughterhouses, we're trying to help the earth. If that makes me a militant vegan, then what are the rest of society that pay for animals to be butchered in slaughterhouses? I mean, I think that's more extreme and militant, like what we do to animals. We're trying to stop that.